Hey everyone, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to plot points in Python matplotlib. So I'm making this tutorial to help you to learn how to plot points, and I'm also making this tutorial to help you to visualize how they look like on a graph. In later videos, we'll also be covering linear equations and how to plot them. So after completing this tutorial, you'll be able to visualize how points are plotted on a graph. To plot points and lines in Python, we're going to need to install a package called matplotlib. And to install this package, what we're first going to want to do is go over to the file tab on your text editor, and then you're going to want to go over to settings. From here, what you're going to do is go to the search and uh, search project. And from here, it should open up this project thing and then just uh, click on the Python interpreter and then it'll open up this screen. From here, you're just gonna wanna press this install or this plus button. And then from here, just search up matplotlib. And then here, just click on it and just press install package. So after installing it, it'll take at least like three minutes. And then once it's installed, it will say successfully installed. And since I've already installed it, I don't need to install it. But if you haven't installed it, just press install package and you should be ready to go. So now let's start off with the coding part. So since I already have all the code right here, I'm just going to explain what each line means and what each line does. So let's start off with the first one. So basically here, we're just importing the library that we just installed, and it's the library matplotlib, and this will basically help us to plot our graph and our points. So next we have the variable x and the variable y. So basically think of x and y as the x and y axis. So the x will be the x axis, and the y will be the y axis. And next we have two empty arrays. We're going to be filling out these later. But what these two arrays are going to do is that we're going to be putting points inside of them. So numbers will be going inside and those will be plotted onto the X and Y axis. So think of the X and Y variables as the X and Y axis and think of whatever's inside these arrays as the points that we're going to be plotting inside of the graph. So next we're going to be plotting our grid and we can choose if we want to have lines or we just want to have dots. So as of right now, we're just going to be plotting points, but we can also do uh, lines as well. But as of right now, since we're just doing dots, we can ignore these three lines right here. So let's skip on to these. So the marker size equals to six. So th that's basically how thick the marker size will be. And then the marker face color, we can choose any color, but we're going to just choose blue and blue for the edge color as well. So this will, this is basically going to show our points and we're going to be plotting X and Y. And over here, we're going to be plotting our grid and we're going to be showing our grid. I'm showing our plots. So if we run what we have right here without anything inside of these, we're going to see that it's, we're just going to get a graph, but it's going to be empty. So just like this, we're, we can see that we have a graph, but we have no uh, points plotted because we didn't insert any values into this array. So if we start putting points, we can just do one, uh, for example. So negative six for the X axis and negative four for the Y axis. So if we run this, We, we should, uh, ex yeah, we, so we can see one point now. Before we couldn't see any points, but now we can see one. So the X axis, negative six, and the Y axis, negative four. And if you check, so negative six has the X and negative four has the Y. So this is a perfect plot for what we've inserted. And it, this grid is a little wacky because we can't see the zero, zero, but it does accurately show how the plots are pointed. So now if we add another one, another points for example let's add negative three to the x so let's put negative two as the y now if we run this so we're going to try keeping our, our line linear so right now we have negative six as the x and negative four as the y as our first value and then we have negative three as the x and negative two as the y so this is so this is correctly graphed now i'm going to be inserting a few more points which will show a whole linear line and if you didn't know what linear means linear just means straight line so if we add onto our x 0 and 3 and 6 then on y we add 0 uh, let's put 2 and 4 and this should give us a perfect linear line so if we run this now we should see a line going like this. Yeah, so we've plotted all of these lines in linear. And if we were to add a line, we could see that it would be linear. But right now, it's hard to see. And from here, we can actually make the line show as well. Because right now, we only have the dots. So to show the line, all we have to do is change this color in from none. 
and we can change it to any color we want so let's just choose red because red stands out a lot so if we run this then we should be able to see a red line going through all the blue dots so we can see that the red line goes through and it's easier to see that it's linear now because it goes in a straight line you can also change the line style but we can keep it as dash right now and you can also change how thick you want the lines to be but we're going to keep it at two and you can also change the colors of the dots that you imported so if you wanted to be orange you can change it to orange or whatever color you want and you could also change the marker size to be thicker or skinnier depending on how you want to do it so that's basically it for plotting points in python if this video ended up helping you out don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and if you were experiencing any troubles feel free to drop a comment down below and i'll try to respond as quick as i can thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time